YouTube did us dirty, so fuck it. First ever Twitter reaction. Here we go. I think you guys are trying to paint this with a black and white brush, and it's not that simple. What? Get her out of here. What? I did that. It's called. Come on. Oh. What? Oh, this shit loud. My fault, chat. This shit loud as fuck. AMP statements are made on various topics. Okay. AMP surrounded. If you must. Wait, what? Wait, what? What does that say? What does that say? AMP says if you must choose between visiting your best friend as he is dying or your child being born, you should choose visiting your best friend. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, if your best friend is dying, like he's dying, like he's going to die. Yeah, 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 yeah my nigga, you got to go to that. It's either you go to see somebody die or you're going to see somebody be born. know how many kids you have. What? Wait, what? 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 It's two ways you can look at it. You know how many kids you have. If you have Nigga, get that nigga out of here. Get that nigga out of here. <laughs> I believe the wife come first. That best friend can wait. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. Listen, I know, I know, but so the so the best friend can't wait. Cause that's it. That nigga can't wait. He's going to the afterlife. You also have one chance to see your child being born. So the wife and the baby come first. Nigga, I'ma see that little nigga every single day. I'ma see that nigga every day for the next 18 years. Pictures, all that. Like, I right, look. I met I met five amazing guys in my life, and if one of them in the ICU and they dying, I, I gotta go see them. I'ma be real. I'ma be real. I'm the rest. Come on, man. Guys, and my son, my daughter, I can see him on video, man. <laughs> all right. But the next day, I'll be with my kids. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I mean, the main thing is I can tell you don't have children, correct? Nah, nah, not no, yet. No, not okay. Yet. So like she said, it's only one time you get that event. Based on what type of best friend you got, where I'm from, Chicago, one of my partners could have got into something. I know he hot. You hear me? And if my wife, my beautiful wife over there giving birth to one of my kids, and you know I just told you, hey, shit, the water just broke. I'm gonna be honest, I might not fuck with my son if I miss my man's dying. <laughs> <laughs> He's young though, so I can give you that perspective. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Hello. What's the thing? Hey guys, well, I believe the wives come first. It's a lot of women dying Every, of birth these days. This is crazy. Everyone really, everybody is really saddened with like going to see your kid, bro. Maybe, maybe that is some young nigga shit. So if you have the opportunity, I believe you should go see your child. I see both sides, but I think if we my man's is dying, absolute death. Or you could compromise, spend time with your wife until she has the child. No, 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 he's dead. Nah, he's dying. No, <laughs> like there is no comp. The nigga's like, dying. There's no, Damn. there's no ifs, ands, or buts about this. My dog is dying. He's dead. Yeah, he's he's dying. going to die. The doctors may bring him back to life. Nah, he's dying. No, they say he's dying. <laughs> this is crazy. Like they, this is like crazy. they made the call. This is crazy. This is like, crazy. You want to come this see him or what? This is crazy. Hey guys, I'm gonna see that little I'm nigga every from day. From perspective of being married for 23 years, mm. I have four. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, that nigga, good job. Good job, oh, that nigga. Four best friends for close to 50 years. Damn. Damn. My best friends and I will all agree that if it came down to it, to the birth of our child and their death, there's no way I'm turning my back on my wife. Leaving her in that position, giving birth. I love these guys to death. But when it comes to the birth of my my, my, my child, I wish you the best. I'll pray for you. I'll see you at the film. How would y'all feel? I'm, maybe I'm tweaking. Said, I might I mean, be tweaking. I, did, I didn't get to see y'all. He did that. that, shit, happened, man. What, what, that already happened. I might be tweaking. That already happened. That already happened. That already happened. That already happened. Wait, 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 what if y'all father, father said? My pops ain't coming through. <laughs> he need a hug. <laughs> What if y'all father said I didn't get to see y'all, you know, get born, you know, born because my friend passed away? How would y'all make that feel? As a that child, wouldn't make me feel no as way. As an adult, you would say, oh, you know, you probably would say whatever. But as a child, you will always remember that your father was not there because that wouldn't make, make me feel. What? what? That wouldn't make me what? What? That wouldn't make me feel no way, nigga. What? So if my pops just if he just tapped me on the shoulder one day and he's like. Yo, you know, I wasn't there to see you born because my best friend, your, your uncle, he he died that day. I'd be like, all right, nigga. I, I wouldn't get no fuck. That's not like, nigga, I'm not going to get no fuck. My mom would probably give a fuck about that. Nigga, I'm 
not gonna get no shit. Get my twin out of there. Get my twin out of there. I'll be forgetting Chris Ball, now, bro. Saying, it's, it's for y'all. I'm just giving you something to look at. <laughs> they already putting red flags. This nigga didn't say nothing. AMP says your girl should not attend her ex's funeral. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Bro, this got too many, like, depends. Like, it, it, it depends on how long they was together and, like, how much they fuck with each other and how long for they have been broken up. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's too many depends on that. It's too much, bro. Like, how locked in was they? What's going on, man? I feel like she could go. Like, he dead. What? He ain't nothing he could do. She can't talk to him. They can't get back together. He's he, dead? I'm just going, going to show my respect. Like, like, why you know she what even saying? know that nigga dead? <laughs> <laughs> he dead. What the fuck they got to do? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to, they don't have to do it with you. But she going to close that chapter officially. It's like, big. It's big. Uh, what are you talking about? No, unless your ex is your baby mom's or baby father. Uh, then that's then that's like, yeah. nah, I'm coming. I'm just going with her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah, I'm just going to see what she going to say. I got to think. I got to think. I got to think. Because nigga, if... Nigga, okay, let me see. If I gotta, bro, this not gonna work for me, bro. Cause nigga, all my ex bitches cheated on me. Nigga, fuck them hoes. AMP says you should, you sh what? AMP says you should pay for your girls BBL. What the fuck is these niggas talking about? Nigga, my bitch not getting no fucking BBL. Nigga, I need to be smacking natural buns. What the fuck is these niggas talking? About? See, these, see, this that rich shit. This that rich shit I be talking about. This that rich shit I be talking about, bro. We're not paying for a BBL. No. I'm not okay. paying. I don't want to pay for my girl for BBL. You cheat, bro. That's no, fun. I'm not being cheap. Cause this is not the first time I done heard you say some shit like that, though. That you're not paying for shit. It's my girlfriend, right? Yeah. Meaning that I fell in love with her for her. Okay. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So, hold on. Hold on. Mm. Therefore, if she, if she, if she comes to me and say, "Babe, I want to, I want a BBL." I'm gonna say you don't need that. And 90, I ain't gonna lie, bro. 90 percent of the times, 99. Okay. When a girl get a BBL. It's to attract attention, bro. Okay. Let's be honest. Of course, of course, She's of course. She's coming to you, not for you to persuade her otherwise, like, that she shouldn't get it. She's saying, babe, I want a BBL. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I don't want you to have a BBL. No. Buy the BBL, bro. No. <laughs> Nigga said buy the BBL. So, okay, we know what do. We People know what get, Doug like, doing. Shit to, like, boost their own personal self-esteem and see how they feel about themselves. So, like, veneers... BBL, yeah, all that shit is included because yeah, like veneers, veneers and shit like that. Okay. Yeah. I can't lie, nigga. I can't even sit here and cap, nigga. When I get rich, am I gonna buy veneers? Probably. I'm not, bro. Okay, look, I'm not gonna OD it, cause niggas be like ODing and get the whole like whole deck. I ain't gonna do all that, bro. You can get like a few teeth. Nah, that shit not gonna look right then if I get a few teeth. But that shit also not gonna look right if I get everything because my ass gonna be looking like fucking Steve Harvey, bro. I'm not trying to go through that, bro. It's bro, the I'm same thing, trying. though. Like, people get veneered because no, they don't like they, they smile. And, and it's affecting their self-esteem. A BBL and teeth is is different, gang. All right, if she get a BBL and, and then she cheat on me. Look okay. <laughs> at <laughs> Real niggas. It is my job to make you feel beautiful as... as how you are right. Gang, I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I have a big forehead. Me got too, it. Right? Holy fuck. Hey, me too. Look, look, Damn. Look, 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 me too. Look, look, baby, you got I infinite forehead. And I want to reduce my forehead. She may not... Like, Kai, your shit really, not even that bad. Like, I love you for your... Like, I, She's and, supposed to say yeah, Okay, bro. okay, look. Nah, but shit, she loves me. <laughs> when you get a BBL, That's not permanent. there's upkeep, right? Yeah, yeah. so now she has to keep it up. This is ongoing expenses. <laughs> due to most likely, on average, an insecurity she's dealing with. Because I have an abnormally large forehead. No, yeah, 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 which fair, means fair, that, fair. you know, for. Ah, his, for I ain't like his shit. Is, I ain't gonna age his shit is crazy. different than what most people have. With enough character growth, I learned to love that this is part of me. There's a forehead reduction surgery. I will not be getting this shit. AMP says only black people should be able to say it the N word. I might get canceled for this. I'm, uh, I might say I have to agree. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, bro, oh, fuck. I got a Mexican homie, right? And he from Florida. That's my dog, bro. But when he be saying nigga, it kind of like, it make me, it make me jump a little bit. Like, it make me, it make me jump a little bit. It make, it make me jump a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm from Miami, right? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Hispanics and blacks are deep down uh, in right. all the poor neighborhoods. Right, right. We grew up around Cubans since 1981. They live on a block just like us. They got mouth full of gold just like us. They talk like us. That's all they know. Now, if they might go to y'all states and city, and y'all not cool with that, they might get 
they might get killed. You say the Cubans grew up with y'all, right? They leave Miami and go go to the A. Somebody checked them about saying nigga. What's their excuse? They might get flipped. But I'm, I'm, but what I'm saying though, they gonna get flipped. So, but it, it's wrong now. I love the word. I feel like <laughs> it's a derogatory way to use the word, and it's a culture way to use the word. So who can say it? What? To them? In your friend group, and you chilling, and that's how y'all talk. It's, it's just the way it's. I, uh, this is this is. I ain't gonna lie. This is such like a bad. Cause like. Cause damn, I just said that about my Mexican homie, but niggas is probably like, nigga, why you let him say that? And it's like, damn, that's my dog. Speaking, it's not like you're not coming at him. Like, you're not saying that disrespectful. Like, that means you, anybody. If you're not saying you're, nah. If you're not saying, if you're not saying you're, you a nigga, like you a nigga. Like if you're not saying. Like, <laughs> yeah, but but you're saying that means that you're saying anybody can say it. Then. No. Cause if I have my white friend CB, yeah, my friend, yeah, CB come and I'm like, yo, CB, come CB, here, CB, come here, CB, come here, CB, 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 come here, CB, my CB, friend, CB. chill with us every day. He chill with us every okay. single day. Can he say? And I'm like, CB, like, what's good, my nigga? He just coming, you know, what's up, my nigga? But that's how we talk. That's not nah, how you that's talk. crazy. That's not how you talk. That's you crazy. said specifically that uh, yeah. you guys can talk it out loud. If it's not used in any certain way, then it's fine. Okay, for me. If I did that, like, there's he consequences. Getting, but you hear what he, he get, said. He getting he flipped. Said, He's how, getting he flipped. Said, how, <laughs> he is getting his ass flipped. But you said that's how we talk. That's not how we talk if he can't say it. Now this is like a I, I see what he's saying. 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 He's not he's not saying like just anybody could come up and be like, oh what's up, nigga? He's saying like if that's your man's and like he grew up with you and like da da da, -da nigga and like y'all that's how y'all niggas talk. That's how y'all niggas talk. Clearly correct answer. But technically the only people who have a past to say the word nigga is foundational black Americans. Uh -huh. We got to uh -huh. a yes, point sir. where yes, anybody sir. who's black. You know, outsiders don't know who's foundational, who's from the islands, who's from Africa. So they group us. So we've all used it. Jokingly, I would agree with you. But I just, Joking. at the same time, I know, like, society's going to view him as a black man. Like, when he gets pulled over by the police, he's going to be a nigga. He is just as black as us to America. And I'm saying that's how the word spread the way it spread. Yeah, okay. and, and now it's a universal language amongst us all. First mm. and foremost, the word nigga means a non-taxpaying citizen. At that point in time, post-slavery, that word was used towards African-Americans. We were described as Negroes when we came off the slave ships because during the transatlantic slave trade through the Caribbean <clears throat> islands, the majority spoke Spanish. And because of that, Negro means what in Spanish? Black. Black. So they associated with black. The ignorant version of black means nigga because we were actually non-taxpaying citizens because we weren't considered human beings. So third, when that foundational black shit, nigga, that's crazy. Because at the end of the day, we took that word and we made it, strangely enough, out of love. Indeed. Which y'all don't understand about Hispanic people and Spanish people, they just as black as us. Exactly. When you talk about foundational, Puerto Ricans, Brazilians have black ancestry. You don't understand, I'm gonna teach you right quick, my nigga. The problem <laughs> is, is that Brazilians have, y'all don't understand, y'all don't understand country. Let me cook. Oh, hey, get it heated. Oh, hey, get it heated. He's schooling people, but school? he's not schooling people. He's running around the block. Oh, take a seat. Take a seat. Oh, yeah. Take a seat. Oh, it was one group of people called niggas, and that's American slaves. Niggas and the Indians, too. Native was Americans you a slave? as well. Was you a slave? My ancestors was. How you know? What you mean? How, I know? How you know? Do you know? Do you know your? Do you know I your do, lineage? Absolutely. We know you was a slave, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is this: that foundational Black American shit, that's some bullshit. At this, the end of that, that's, that's my that personal means, belief. Though. That's what that means. That my means nigga, a group of you gonna people, be viewed as a nigga. That means you eat the Ethiopian, right? People. You eat the Ethiopian, right? Right, right. One o'clock in the morning. All these niggas is my niggas, but I'm saying. So you with me? I'm saying, who started, started with who? With a group, a specific group of people that was already here. Who was, who here. was the people, my nigga? The Native Americans. My nigga, they didn't call yeah, niggas yeah, niggas, my nigga. Niggas, no, no, it's called niggas. No, we make no niggas. Yo. Call Twitch, 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 Twitch. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Twitch. I'm so sorry. Bro, what the fuck? AMP says in a relationship, a man should pay 100% of the bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took this one bitch out to Chili's one time. The, 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 you know what I'm saying? We was ready to leave and shit. She was like, she, she, she was like, oh, I got it. I was like, no, 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 I got it. She was like, no, I can pay for it. I was like, no, I got it. I don't know what it is, bro. It's like, I don't know what it is about like letting a bit 
pay for your meal. I don't know what the fuck it is that irks niggas, that irks us niggas to not allow you to do that. I think you guys are trying to paint this with a black and white brush and it's not that simple. Okay. I think it depends if you guys are both financially in the same place. My husband and uh, okay. I went through graduate school together. We were both poor. So we both were financially in the same place. Right. Okay. So we split rent, we split everything, even after we were married. From how I look at it, it's like, mm. I'm the man, right? And I should be, you know, uh, taking care of my household 100%. However, I think that if in a scenario that I'm not able to, my partner should catch me on the way down if, if, if I need that, because I know how life works. Your team. Shit. I know how team. Life works That's what it's all about, bro. As a black woman Indeed. who dates primarily black men, I think that we should start paying attention to how, not all, but a lot of black men don't make as much as a lot of black women. I'm one of the women that probably makes six figures compared to a lot of black men that I've dated. You single now? Huh? No, no, my bad. Go ahead. What the fuck? <laughs> what no, the no, no, no. fuck? No, go ahead, the thing what? is, I'm not opposed to dating someone who makes less than me, but the thing is, the men I've come across have dated are intimidated by what I make, and it becomes an issue to where they feel intimidated. How'd that make you feel? Did that make you sad? Yeah, it made mm. me sad. How did your ex-partner make you feel like uh, it wasn't being appreciated? What was he doing? We're not going out, or if we're not necessarily seeing each other constantly like we were, and it's a money issue, then yeah, you would bring it up. I'm not, I'm doing everything but rent, bro. Oh, rent is, I, 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 I do too. I think as a man, you should take mm. care of your girl. You know what I'm saying? I think you should take her on, take her on nice dates. I agree. Take her on nice dates. Hey, for you sure. you can, pay for her nails. I understand everyone that <sighs> Okay, there we go. I was wondering when the nails and, 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 and hair and shit was gonna come up. Am I paying for, am I paying for my girl nails? Not all the time, nigga. No, nigga, I'm not paying for that shit all the time, nigga. It's your nails, nigga. What the fuck? Can I ask you a question? Okay. Girl, car just broke down. Fuck it. Yeah, I agree. Go ahead, whatever you need. Hey, so wait, no, she need a new car. Fuck it. New oh. car crazy. Fuck new it. car is crazy. I'm serious. Hey. Nah, nah, new car is crazy. Hey, but why? But look, why new car is crazy. Someone I care about, and if I, I'm saying, if you got it, why not? Your girl up ten mil. Yeah, she better and go. You, you know, right. what I'm saying? but she, she like you though. I think everyone's dynamic depends on each person. As a man, I know it's about pride and shit like that, but Phantom asked you about the new car. Yeah. You said, fuck it, yeah. right? Flip it, you broke. And your girl trying to buy you a car. You I saying, fuck it? I would want her to reciprocate that same energy because relationships are not just yes. transactions. It's I about agree. love at the end of the day. People, I agree. people are considering love. Yes. Bro. Okay. Depends okay. on what okay. stage okay. of a relationship you're in with a woman. If you're just strictly dating, then you do what you do, you pay for dinner, things like that, basic transactions, but you don't pay her rent, you don't pay her car, no, she doesn't probably even live with you at that point. Right. 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 But I still believe that a woman should partake. If you're young enough, you both are working, you're building for the greater good of your whole entire relationship. Your retirement, everything down the road, your children, if they go to college or not, that's what your boats are working for. But like if I am doing, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. With this, with this little argument shit, none, nobody here has had a bad take. One hundred percent. If I chose to do that, I think a woman. None of these is bad have takes. Shit going on financially. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. You don't want them to be lazy. Yeah, yeah. I, because I, if you're paying for everything, she should sign a prenup. Because if you're responsible for it all, then when if you leave, you leave with it all. Mm. Real nigga, real nigga, real nigga. Be sure to subscribe. Hey, this shit was fire, bro. This shit didn't even drop on YouTube. We had to watch this bitch on Twitter. We need to watch more vids like this, bro. We need to watch more vids like this. This shit was fire.